everyone and welcome to High Valley Couponers. Today I'm here with an absolutely insane couponing haul from Kroger. This is all Kroger. This is all Walmart. CVS. I know you probably can't even believe you're seeing a CVS haul, but yes, I went to CVS. And then down here is a tiny little Walgreens run-in trip. So I was chasing two bonuses. We got some new bonuses for October. There is a Weekend Warrior an amazing dollar on 12. You gotta love the dollar on 12. Insert sarcasm there. Um, and then I actually have this new one. So I finished off Weekend Warrior. And then I had this rake in the cash, $10 on 30. And I believe I got 14 rebates tracking towards that. So I'll be able to knock it out next week for sure. Um, so I'm super, super excited for that. So yeah, a lot going on. Um, I did a haul on Tuesday. If you're needing some more inspiration, you can do many, many more deals than what I did here. There's a lot more options. Um, I just have already done rebates throughout the week. So, all right, printable breakdown in the description box below. I know you guys love the printable breakdowns. There will be a printable breakdown for this. And then um, in the description box below will also be a link to new printable coupons. Helps me out a ton when you guys do that. All right, timestamps in the description too to separate the stores. So I don't know if everybody's going to care about CVS. Okay, let's start with Kroger. Kroger, I grabbed me some Purex. Got to love the Purex deal. This Purex is $3.99. I utilized a dollar off coupon from the $9.20. Retail me not. So I paid $2.99. I bought it. It's giving me back $2.50 for this Purex at Kroger. Not at Walmart. Only at Kroger. The Walmart rebate's $0.50. Cents, so we're not going to do that. $2.50 back at Kroger. It makes this $0.49 cents for this enormous jug of detergent. Like, why not? All right, and then I grabbed the Kotex. If you guys haven't done the Kotex deal yet, you got to run. So this is awesome. It is $2.99. Buy one, get one 50% off. So when I did the deal earlier um, last week or Tuesday or something, I just bought two, which was stupid because it's a much better deal to buy four. So here's how it's working. $2.99. Buy one, get one 50% off. So $1.49. $2.99. $1.49. That comes to $8.98. I utilized three of the one-off one coupons from the 913 Smart Source. Now, those coupons, I could only use three because Kroger's limit now is three light coupons. So I couldn't use four like we used to be able to. So that brought down the 598. I bought it as giving back two dollars with a limit of five. So I got back eight dollars for the Kotex. Paid 598 and got back eight, making this all three plus a 204 moneymaker, which is amazing. All right, so I did four different Kroger cashback offer deals. They didn't work. Only one of them actually worked, which is weird because I never have problems with Kroger cashback ever. I'm going to wait the two days. I actually already tried um, calling and it was too soon. So I'm going to wait till Saturday and see what offers just to verify these did not run through. And then what I'll do on Saturday is I will call the Kroger automator and go through the whole process and they'll give me the Kroger cashback. Very simple. I've done it twice now. Never have any issues. So yeah, we'll take care of that. Um, so I'll tell you what worked and what didn't. So this is the only one that actually worked. The Barilla Pene Pasta is $2.49. Buy one, get one free. I have 50 cent Ibotas to get that back for the both. Then I have a 50 cent KCB. Get that back for the both. So this is making it 49 cents for these two boxes, which is great. The Rayo Soup Kroger Cashback did not work. Okay. This soup was $3.50. I had... A Kroger cashback. Didn't use any coupons because I wanted to use the Kroger cashback. So I had a 75 cent Kroger cashback. Didn't work, but I'll get that taken care of. I had a dollar I bought it and had a dollar coupons.com, the app rebate. That makes it 75 cents. This looks really good. It's like the soup they have at Olive Garden. So I'm really excited to try that. And these were under qualifying items. So I am not sure what on earth is up with Kroger cashback. But I will get that resolved after I wait the two days to just make sure it doesn't work. All right, so the Taco Bell crisps, these are $2.50. There's a dollar I bought it and there's a dollar Kroger cashback. Didn't work, but I'll call and get it resolved. So that makes it 50 cents. And then the Faye yogurts are a dollar. There is a 65 cent I bought it and a 65 cent Kroger cashback. Thank you to Mr. Desto for letting me know about that. So after you get both of those rebates, it's like a 30 cent. Yeah, 30 cent moneymaker per cup. That's really awesome. So that's Kroger. Really sucks that the rebates didn't work. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with Kroger Cashback. I'm really concerned. <laughs> Hopefully they get that resolved. All right, so let's talk Walmart. More problems. 
The Thick Crunch Bar. This is $1.97, and Fetch has a rebate to get yours back on any Chef Irvine's Thick Crunch. It says any. It has no size restriction. The picture even shows single bars. Did not pick up on this, so I put a ticket in. It says that they're experiencing higher volume or whatever, so it'll take a little bit. So, yeah, but um, they should give that back to me because it has zero size restrictions. So it'll make that free plus a three cent money maker and had a limit of three on it. So hopefully they fix that because that's really not fair if they don't. It says any fit crunch. I can test that the rest of the rebates all worked fine. So, all right. The Ragu, this is $1.48 and I have 75 cent. I bought it, making it just 70, 73 cents, something really cheap. That's really cheap for pasta sauce. So really good. I grabbed two. So the Suave Body Wash is 97 cents. I utilized dollar off of one coupons from the Unilever 920. Paid nothing and I bought it has a 10 cent any body wash rebate, making this free plus actually a 16 cent money maker for the two, which is awesome. The Roto deal is back. Thank you to Midnight Saver for telling us this is back. The Roto is $4.98, and there are $3 printable coupons that'll have in the description box, so you'll pay $1.98 out of pocket. I bought it has $5 back on two, makes these free plus $1.04 moneymaker, which is awesome, amazing, amazing. The coupons scan just fine. I heard the last ones were beeping, but these work just fine. Amazing moneymaker on the Sun Made Bites. These are $2.44. We have an Ibotta offer to get $0.50 cents back. We have a Fetch Rewards offer to get a dollar back, and we have a $1.26 shop kick. Makes this free plus a 32 cent money maker, which is awesome. Grab this Lipton noodle soup. Um, I, I don't know. I had overage to play with and I was like, well, this looks good. This is a dollar and 58 cents at a 45 cent shop kick. It makes it like a dollar and some change. I don't think it's bad at all for soup. Um, there's a lot of soup in here too. So it was a really good deal. So I did grab the Breakstones Cottage Cheese Doubles again. These are a dollar oh six. I had a dollar oh eight back from shop kick between the buy it and the scan kicks. Then at a 35 cent Ibotta, makes this free plus like a 37 cent money maker, which is awesome. Or no, like a 40, 40 something cent money maker. Exact's in the printable breakdown, but awesome deal. Grabbed another So Delicious Pairings yogurt. This was a dollar and 66 cents at a dollar off printable from my email. That was the last one I had, so that kind of sucks. Paid 66 cents and got a dollar Ibotta. The WWE ice cream sandwich is a dollar and 47 cents. There's a 210 shop kick. Makes it free plus a 73 cent money maker. All right, so also at Walmart, I grabbed this Johnson's Baby Bar. It's a dollar 92 and I had a $2 off coupon from the Carter Pharmacy book. Using those up because they really don't have that long left on them. They expire in December. So anyways, that made it free plus a eight cent money maker. The aquifer deal. Thank you to Underwoods under debt for this. This is $4.52. Utilize the chiller printable coupon that'll of course be in the description. And then there is a $2 Ibotta, makes it 52 cents. I also grabbed another swab deodorant. This is 97 cents and Shopkick has 98 cents back. Makes this free plus a penny moneymaker. Loving all the just free stuff. It's really nice. Palm Olive, 96 cents. And we had, I believe it was 88 cents on Shopkick. I knew this wound up being like seven cents, which is a phenomenal, phenomenal price for dish soap. No, six cents, six cents. All right, and then last but not least at Walmart, I got the Herida Salsa. This is 82 cents. I used a dollar off two printable. Makes it 32 cents a piece. And I also grabbed this paper towel roll. It was just 50 cents, and I had some money-making situations going on, so I wanted to grab that because um, we always need paper towels. All right, so that's Walmart. Let's talk about CVS. And oh my gosh, can you believe Nick went to CVS? If you've not been on my channel very long... You've probably never even seen me go to CVS before, but I went to CVS this week because number one, could not pass up the toilet paper. Number two, there was a lot of rebate situations. I'm not, I'm not used to CVS having rebates. That was really cool. Um, three, I had a $2 extra buck that randomly showed up in my account. I assume that's their ploy to get me back in the store and it worked. And then four, with Black Friday sales and Thanksgiving and all that, I don't know what CVS is looking like. They usually do something like come in and get these things for free after extra bucks. I kind of like to be in the game a little bit for that. And I don't know, no promises on CVS and how long I'll actually keep up. But this was my kind of style this week because they had rebates galore on Ibotta that helped me cover CVS. This is all a huge money maker. So I'm going to go down the line and tell you what I did. By no means, I'm sure you all know about these deals by now. I mean, it's Friday. Come on. I'm sure you've all seen it on other people's videos, but I'm still going to mention it. So I got this Babu... Um, unbleached bamboo toilet paper. Weird, but it was cheap. It's three ply, so hopefully it's good. All right, it is 
$6.99 and it is printing out a $6 extra care buck. 99 cents for the toilet paper. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. The shirt. This was $2 and it's printing out a $2 extra buck, just making it free. Now, let me tell you guys the method to my madness here. Remember I told you that they gave me a random $2 extra buck just to come in and spend. They've been doing that a lot, actually, giving me like a dollar or $2 to try to get me to come in. So it worked. And I counted that $2 as free money. So here's how I looked at it. I grabbed the shirt, $2. I grabbed the toilet paper at $6.99. I used my $2 extra buck. $6.99 was my subtotal. I got back a $6 extra buck and a $2 extra buck. Making all that a one dollar and one cent money maker, and of course tax ate up some of that. I moved on down to this tr transaction, and I grabbed two of the Tress and May. Thank you to Erica Savings for this. This is five dollars and seventy nine cents, and it's buy one get one fifty percent off. That came down to eight dollars and sixty nine cents. I utilized a three dollar on any two Tress and May product coupon for the nine twenty in lever, so I used that and paid five sixty nine. I got back three dollars when I bought a dollar fifty for each, three bucks. I got back a $2 extra buck for buying two Tresemme, okay? And then I got back, on Shopcake, there's a bundle if you buy shampoo and conditioner, you will get back $4.68. So $5.69 minus three and minus $4.68. That makes the two Tresemme's free plus $1.99 moneymaker, which is great. Then I got these two Nivea's. Now, I wouldn't have done this if I'd known this was going to be such a hassle. They are marked at $3.19, and they are buy two, get a $5 extra buck per the CVS website. And I made sure it was the exact one. And we looked. It didn't print. So the ECB did not print. The cashier and me, or the cashier and I, rather, both looked at the CVS website, at the, at the um, advertisement on there. And she was like, yeah, this is the right thing. So she forced printed me a $5 extra care buck to compensate for that. And the other thing, it was supposed to be $3.19, but it rang up at $3.69. So all around, this kind of sucked, but it still is a good deal. So it was $3.69. I had a two-on-two -two coupon from last week's paper. So $2.69 each. And then supposed to be a $5 ECB print, but it didn't. She forced printed it. Um, I've seen some people say it worked, and some haven't had it work, so I don't know. But it made those 19 cents. So that was good. I came out of this transaction. Let me show you guys what I did. Here's the two Trestimates and the two Nivea's. I have my $2 off Nivea coupon and my $3 um, Tresemme. Um, and those are the extra bucks I use, but let's add those back in because I know not everybody can use those extra bucks. That's not how we do things. So add the $8 back in. It's $12.22 subtotal. Use whatever extra bucks or cash you have to pay. Give back all your rebates. Get back your extra buck. And this transaction is free plus a $2.46 moneymaker. And that includes my tax. So subtract out a $1.16 in tax. It's an even bigger moneymaker. So... Phenomenal, phenomenal. And then I moved on down to here into this Nivea men's shaving cream. This is amazing. So these are $4.59 everyday price at CVS. I could, I was going to do it at Walmart again, but it actually worked out better at CVS. So $4.59 by two. Okay. I had a two-on-two -two coupon from the same paper as the lip one came out. So I paid $3.59 each. I got back $2 and I bought it for each. And then I got this $5 extra buck for purchasing two. So that did work out better than Walmart in that instance. So let me show you guys what I did. Okay. Two Nibias. I have my $2 manufacturer coupon. I used seven in ECBs. So without the ECBs, it would have been $7.48. Get back four when I bought it and a $5 extra buck. So you're gaining nine. So it's like $1.52 moneymaker there, which is awesome. So CVS is a lot of fun. I don't know what it's going to look like next week for me if I go to CVS to do a couple things. I'm not just going to grab randomness that's going to cost me a bunch in tax. I really liked having the rebates kind of help offset the tax. So if I do CVS, I kind of feel like that's how I'm going to do it, is if I have rebates to offset it. But I don't know. So I have $5. We'll see what I do next week. Let's talk Walgreens. I had another thing on the list for Walgreens, but my store was out. So I just settled for the Cottonelle, which I will gladly take toilet paper whenever it's on a sale. This is on sale this week for $4.99, and I had a $1 digital. So I paid $3.99 and got a dollar I bought it, making this $2.99. I had enough overage from CVS to help cover that. All right, so let's talk money. All right, so let's talk money. This all out of pocket was $79.28. You guys all know I never pay that out of pocket. That is rolled on the PayPal card. I have $34 back when I bought it. $10.90 back on Shopkick. I will get back $5 from Kroger cash back after I call and take care of all the drama that didn't work. 
A uh, dollar from coupons.com the app, 45 cents from Swagbucks, 705 from Fetch, as long as they take care of these stupid bars, which they should, because that's exactly what's in the picture. Um, and then there is also $20 back between extra care bucks. That's really nice. All right. That brings my total to 88 cents. I got a dollar back from the Weekend Warrior. Makes this all free plus a 12 cent moneymaker, which is pretty darn impressive. Yes. All right. So that's all you are for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And thank you so, so much for watching.